Hi, I'm Travis Richard. I'm with Primetime Contractors, and we're on site today to install an Anderson A-Series patio door. Some reasons why you might want to install a new door would basically be they just don't fit into your house's decor. There's also a lot of energy efficiency reasons for putting in a new patio door. Performance of the glass. There's different filaments that we can put in the glass now. Also security with the locking mechanism, a toe lock that we can install on the door. Some of the issues that we might see when we go to install a new door would be dealing with the siding. In this case, we have vinyl siding, which uh, depending on how old the siding is, could be fairly brittle. So you gotta be very careful when you're taking it off. Um, there's also issue with house wrap. If there's house wrap behind the siding, could be sheathing behind the siding, could be in bad shape. Drip cap, there might not be a drip cap on the old door. Uh, some other issues would be the sill. There's a high probability that we're gonna experience a little bit of rot on these sills. So in that case, you know, we always try and cut that out, replace the sill before we put the new door in. So now we're gonna get the old door tore out and get the new door installed. So something we're going to be extra careful with today is going to be the vinyl siding. Um, it looks a little bit older, so it could be somewhat brittle. Um, in this case, in this installation method, we're going to cut the caulk and not take the siding off in this case. On a typical window, you might see a nailing fin, where in that case we would need to remove the vinyl siding um, to, for us to flash it properly. In this scenario, with this install, uh, we won't need to. So. We're gonna be keeping the vinyl siding intact. And to do that, we're gonna use a multi-tool and just kind of zip it up the fin all the way around and hopefully free that door up so we can pull it out. A lot of times these will be back caulked in, um, so just basically cutting the frame and splitting it in two so we can pry it out. So some of the things that we're trying to avoid really is obviously hitting any of the interior woodwork or cracking any of the siding outside. You got to do what you have to do to get the door up. So. Now that we've started taking the sill of the old frame out, We've noticed that in the bottom corners um, of that sill plate, it's pretty much rotten. What we're probably going to have to do is cut up uh, a little bit on the, the side studs here, pull the floor sheathing off to expose the actual uh, 2x4 stud, pull those out uh, with a pry bar, um, and splice in some new wood here so that the new door is sitting on Nice clean wood before we uh, wrap it in tape and flash it. So it's going to be a little bit of a process. We've cut the rod out. Um, we've basically patched in some uh, two by six underneath the subfloor and then ripped down some half inch subfloor um, sheathing and went back over the top of it once we replaced the rotted wood. The next step is gonna be flash that bottom sill that we just replaced. And from there, we'll basically caulk the corners all the way across the tape right before we set the door and that door, the bottom sill of the door, will get smushed into the caulk, um, preventing any water from being able to go underneath the door. Um, and then on the sides, once we have the door set, we'll use a closed cell waterproof foam as an insulating membrane to basically insulate the cavity of the door from the stud to the door frame um, to prevent any of that cold air or warm air coming in and out and make this thing watertight. So 
now that we have the new door in, we're going to shim it uh, in multiple points, making sure that the door is plumb level and square. Uh, we're, after that, we will caulk it uh, from the outside, insulate from the inside using a waterproof closed cell foam, um, and then add the final touches, which will be the jams and casing. All we have to do now is put the jams on, which will go on the sides of the door here, and then install the casing, and then this door is done. So now we have our new patio door installed. Uh, we are complete with the door here. Uh, the last final things that you might need to do would be adjust the rollers um, or also adjust the lock mechanism. Uh, other than that, this is pretty much a wrap. Thanks. <laughs>